it was like Christmas time. I was I had drove driven home, went to uh, you know go to Boston for a second. So I'm driving back. And you know, you know, you know, you drive and you get that that I'm um, that scared, tired, like that tired that you just that type of tired. Where yep. I went to sleep a couple of times, Oof. horrified, tired. So I got to stop. Pull in there, park. I go. Thank God. I I put my seat back. Whew! Thanking God. For some reason, you know, after about good five minutes of sleeping, I just my, my eyes open. Nothing woke me up. Just my eyes open. Boy, I look to the left, then I look to my right, out my passenger side. There's a guy looking at my window. <laughs> <laughs> Clean cut white guy. Well dressed businessman type. I look at him to try to give him like for thirty seconds we're looking at each other. I crack my window about an inch. I go, what, what, what's up, man? He goes, it's cold out here. I go, what? It's cold out here. And he, and he tries my handle on my door. He, I said, what? Well, go inside. <laughs> I go, I go, well, go inside. It's coffee in there. He immediately bounced. That's how he left. He just goes, oh, all right. And walked calmly away. Like, almost like he knew I would be in shock if I wasn't. I'm just like, that was weird. This, I watch him. This gets into a Subaru Outback with a Christmas tree on top <laughs> and drives away. And oh, that's when, man. that's when the adrenaline kicked. I said, he was going, he was going to suck strange black before he went home to take a Christmas tree <laughs> to his family. It was like drinking 14 cups of coffee and a Red Oh, Bull. you were awake. Once I said, I didn't know. I thought he was just a creepy cold guy.